But mind you, I'm sure up. Johnny's still got some moly molies in there oh, yeah. and yeah, to be able to get some <laughs> feedback. Is that also, like someone who's saying that from experience? By the, no, no, no. Johnny and Faz are literally like, they're thick as thieves. Oh, really? Well, sorry. I know they're very good friends. Okay. And so I'm not, sh- like, I don't know if they're meeting up for beers, but I know that that relationship isn't dead and buried. You know, they've, they went through an awful lot together. They have huge respect for one another. You don't just park that because, you know, the roles, um, you know, your one your coach is staying on, the player exits. Mm. I think course is not going to be the same need for an interaction, but I'm sure there's a there's a, a continued friendship. And, um, and, and I think if Andy was smart, he would lean on Johnny a bit as well. You think about that intel, that I, IP... Um, a bit of guidance, a little bit of what do you think, you know, what do you think of the shape, How, where do we go well? Of course, like, he, there's not that many people that Andy Farrell can go and do that with. Why wouldn't he do that with Johnny if, you know, with the respect that he has for him? So, um, Would you want Johnny over the last couple of weeks talking to Jack Crowley? No, I don't think so. Um, I think Jack needs to be allowed to go and do his own thing and do it the Jack Crowley way. We've seen the Johnny Sexton way for the last four years and that's gone now and you've got to park that. And I think Jack will have learnt an awful lot being in camp under Johnny for you know the last couple of years uh, in the game time, in, in studying him, in behaviours, in you know, barking orders. But Jack Crowley isn't trying to be come in and be Johnny Sexton. He's, he's got to come in and, and put Jack... Crowley's flavour to, to things and run the ship hit, you know, his way, captain it his way. And so um, that'll take adjusting from everyone else's perspective because they were all very used to Johnny doing it a particular mm. way and now they've got to relearn a way that and you know other personnel do it. Um, and that will take a little bit of time. Um, Jack needs a bit of a run at things. Um, he's the guy in possession right now. Um, and if he goes well, he, he should continue to be because I think at the moment he's definitely produced the best, most consistent rugby over the course of the last year to warrant him being in there and be the number two behind Johnny, now the number one. So I think he does, people do need to be patient with him as he finds his groove. But the comfort of not having Johnny Sexton, the captain, the, you know, the lion, the, the test centurion, um, all the accolades that he's won looking over his shoulder, you know, when he's out injured or maybe when he was suspended. Um, that There's a comfort for Jack in that, being able to just go and and not second guess himself, going, oh, I wonder if the captain, you know, agrees with me on that. He just has to go and do it his own way 